Welcome to our sixth and final vlog in our CAA web series. Today, we're going to talk about an extremely controversial issue, race. As in, like, Mario Kart? Recently, we've been reading the novel Between the World and Me by Coates, who says some pretty striking things. Mainly, he talks about the idea that race is a man-made construct that has no real meaning. It's all in your imagination. Coates talks about how race is just a tool for people to categorize others, usually through subjective physical features. Historically, race has been used to define groups of people from differing points of origin with similar physical characteristics. Furthermore, these races have been subjected to a hierarchy seemingly based upon their successfulness as civilizations. If you think about it, there really is no such thing as race. What defines black or white, or Asian? If I have dark skin with one parent with white skin and I was born in England, am I black? My mom is half Chinese, half Polish, and my dad is half Saudi Arabian and half Portuguese. What am I? Am I Hispanic? Am I Asian? Am I just a robot from the future? The world may never know. When looking at different time periods, race, or more so civilizations in the world, have become more and more subtle to their hatred of one another. We have examples all across history, from the Crusades to the American slave trade and the nation's founding. The definition of race in the now globalized world, where anyone can be anywhere within a day or two from the old you live on the side of the pond for me, so you are a Persian instead of a Greek. The color of your skin is different, and so is your accent, so you're different than me. We aren't the same race. With that in mind, the victor of a technological competition like the Cold War, or an actual war like the Great War and its counterpart, always hold themselves to a higher standard than the others in an almost pretentious stance, much like the kid who drove a BMW in high school. As history is declared by the victor, control is also granted to those who are one step ahead of the other. Thus, the modern definition and the creation of races was born as a subgenre of a nationality to further distance ourselves from what history has taught us is inferior. For example, when the slave trade was going on in the 1700s, many African tribes enslaved war criminals and sold them to buyers much like that of the likes of the United States. Thus, since we view the Africans as a savage race of little to no societal value, we, as Code states in the book, place ourselves above them, causing a divide that now direly needs to disappear. And now, in the modern day, Coates brings us this point up as he cites the treatment of black people, and that to be, to be black in the U.S. solely means to be the bottom and subject to the worst treatment. But what does all this mean? Should we therefore eliminate race and the use of race in classifying people? Should we bring back the classification by nationality? Instead of being white or black, should, should we be Irish or Nigerian or just American? These are the larger questions that Coates introduces but does not answer, and is what we should now be thinking about. Coates sums up his ideas about race by stating that we are all people. That's the reality. Fundamentally, being classified as black or white doesn't make us any different. I mean, we are all one strand of DNA from a banana, so we might as well set aside physical traits of evolution and realize we're all the same on the inside. Red and sticky. Thanks for joining us in our final vlog. Uh, check out the next segment in this final episode of the CIA web series. <laughs> <laughs> I will cut.